Welcome back. Uh, today we will take the topic restriction enzymes. These are molecular scissors which is the most important tool. We are going to talk about tools for recombinant technology. So this is the most important tool. Without this re recombinant technology would not have been possible. Uh, but just before we go with how these restriction enzymes were discovered, uh, where was it found? Uh, we would just uh, go, just recap on what exactly does it do why is it needed so for any recombinant technology first very important thing you need a sterile environment that means germ free you should suppose you are you are using a microorganism and isolating dna from it no other microbes other than the one you need should be present around so that is germ free condition okay very sterile environment for that we have a proper setup lab a properly set up lab then uh, we need source cell or tissue for example if i need some plant um, material plant dna uh, for example plant dna for chloroplast isolation or dna from chloroplast so i need plant tissues leaves or stem or whatever so that is a source cell then i have to disrupt that cell i have to break the cell open so that from within the nucleus dna can be isolated so there are steps of doing it we we have devices to work out all that so long segments of dna can be isolated by using um, machines like centrifuge and all enzymes to disrupt the cell wall cellulose uh, material is very tough so cellulase enzymes are used uh, pectinase are used so disrupting the cell wall is necessary membranes nuclear membrane would be dis uh, disrupted and DNA could be isolated. Okay, fine. But they are so long pieces of DNA. You need to cut those DNA to get your gene of interest. The whole DNA is not having what you want. So, there it may be in a small area. So, you need to cut that DNA. That is where we need restriction enzyme. Even now, when you have to, you have cut the DNA of interest, you need to uh, merge it with a plasmid so that you can culture it in a uh, you can incorporate it in a host cell and culture it for the product. So, from cultured bacterial cells, you have to isolate its plasmid also. Plasmid is going to act as a vector here. Details of vectors we will take later. So, now you isolate the plasmid. Plasmids are circular DNA we have discussed earlier. So, you have to cut that plasmid to make a space to insert the gene of interest. So, there also you need a restriction enzyme. So, this is exactly where restriction enzymes are used as a tool. And if it is not, if, if we cannot cleave it, then recombinant technology is just not possible. Okay, so that is one a particular enzyme we are going to talk about now. Other than that, when we cut, we need to join those two fragments for that. Another enzyme is called ligase, which seals the phosphodiester bond. Uh, so, before uh, I tell you how exactly this restriction enzyme was found, where was it found, let me just uh, brief you a little on where does it exactly cut. It cuts phosphodiester bond on DNA strand. So, if you are very clear with DNA replication, how DNA strands are formed and all, what are the units, how nucleotides are, you know, um, polymerized, you will know the uh, bonding. Bonding between two adjacent nucleotides is called a phosphodiester bond. Sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate, sugar like that it goes on forming a backbone. This is one strand. There would be another strand which I have not drawn here. And to the internal side are the bases uh, that is sugar like for example here bases nitrogen with sugar uh, with uh, glycosidic bond guanine is attached with this sugar thiamine is attached with this sugar cytosine is attached guanine. Adeni uh, adenine and cytosine. So, this is one sequence I have drawn. Guanine, thiamine, cytosine, guanine, adenine, cytosine. This is just one small sequence I have drawn just to tell you where exactly does the restriction enzyme cleave. Now, for example, if I talk about uh, what uh, what is the site, what is that specific area where an enzyme uh, now all the enzymes are labeled uh, named we will study nomenclature also so one example i'm taking now hind2 for example it cleaves phosphodiester bond cleaving matlab hydrolysis breaking the bond in presence of water so uh, how it will cut 
वो एग्जैक्टली exactly काटता कहाँ है बॉन्ड को फॉस्फोडाइएस्टर बॉन्ड तो वन हाफ ऑफ द डी एन ए सेगमेंट विल बी सेपरेटेड आउट फ्रॉम द अदर हाफ सो दिस इज हाउ कटिंग इज डन सो सपोज दिस इज द डिजायरेबल एरिया आई वॉन्ट सो दिस एरिया इज लेफ्ट आउट सेम वे इफ हिंड टू कट्स फॉस्फोडाइएस्टर बॉन्ड बिटवीन गोवेनाइन एंड थायमिन इन इन अ पर्टिकुलर डी एन ए ऑफ अ स्पीशीज इन एनी स्पीशीज इवन बैक्टीरियल प्लाज्मिट्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कट अ पीस दिस एनजाइम विल कट बिटवीन गोवेनाइन एंड थायमिन ओनली एंड नो वेर एल्स सो बाई नेचर एनजाइम्स आर वेरी स्पेसिफिक यू नो एनजाइम्स आर ऑलवेज वेरी स्पेसिफिक सो दे विल नॉट कट एनी वेर एल्स एंड नो अदर एनजाइम विल कट एट दिस साइड्स सो दैट इज द नेचर ऑफ रेस्ट्रिक्शन एनजाइम बट देन दिस वॉज ऑल स्टडीड लेटर how did we come to know that there is something like this how did scientists come to know that there is something like this some molecular scissors like this which we can use in technology so you know about the lytic phase of a uh, viral cell a virus kaise ek bacteria mein panapta hai how does a virus grow inside a bacteria you know bacteria virus called bacteriophage bacteria eater that is the virus which feed which eats uh, which lives inside a bacteria to multiply such a virus is called a bacteriophage now when a bacteriophage infects a bacterial cell it will land on its cell wall you can see the picture how a bacteria how a viral uh, cell attacks a bacteria and how it delivers its dna into the bacterial cell so when the viral particle genome particle genome is introduced into the bacterial cell though bacterial cell is the only machinery in which bacteriophage can survive usko survive karna hai to usko bacterial cell chahiye par bacteria to apna bachav koshish karega na just like hum hame infection hota hai to hamara system immune system try karta hai us infection ko rokne ke liye we may fall ill that doesn't mean ki every time your immune system is strong we may fall ill तो इन्फेक्शन तो होता है फिर भी उसी तरह बैक्टीरियल जीनोम विल ट्राई टू यू नो टू थ्रो अवे दिस टू टू डिग्रेड दिस वायरल जीनोम बट स्टिल वायरस ट्राइज इट्स बेस्ट एंड दिस इज द सेल बैक्टीरियल सेल्स आर द ओनली सेल्स वेयर इट कैन प्रोपागेट एंड मल्टीप्लाई इन नंबर एंड इफ इट इज अलाउड टू प्रोपागेट अगर ये डिफेंड नहीं कर पाया तो यहाँ हजारों वायरल सेल्स आ जाएंगे एंड द बैक्टीरियल सेल विल break open releasing all the new re, new progeny of viruses into the environment so that is called lytic cycle virus ka lytic cycle matlab bacterial cell ko tod dena lytic lysis meaning breaking down now bacteria has a natural mechanism of preventing its own breakdown how it will try to defend when genome enters of the virus soon the bacterial genome will release enzymes called rest that is what now called now uh, named as restriction enzymes it will uh, release restriction enzymes and this restriction enzyme was studied when bacteriophage was infecting e coli cell this restriction enzyme was uh, found to be having two components what are the two components see one components work is to go and cleave cut just like how i explained here cut the viral genome meanwhile and as i said a restriction enzyme cuts for example between guanine and thiamine if a restriction enzyme cuts in any species dna it can cut the same position so if a viral genome has suppose such a position definitely the bacterial genome being so large compared to viral genome will have that sequence somewhere so it will recognize that sequence and same sequence g t c g a c it will recognize the same sequence in the bacterial genome and it will cause cleaving between g and t it can do that apne hi genome ko bhi kaat sakta hai the restriction enzyme can break its own genome can hydrolyze its own uh, material genetic material to usko bachav karna hai apna apna genome ka so the second component of the restriction enzyme plays that role of modifying c1 is component 1 which will cut viral genome c2 is modification system so that is called restriction modification system how it modifies just at that place where that particular restriction enzyme cuts it will add a methyl group 
इट विल एड अ मिथाइल ग्रुप सी एच थ्री जैसे अगर जी और टी के बीच में काटने की आदत है इस एंजाइम को तो थायामिन के साथ या ग्वेनाइन के साथ वो मिथाइल ग्रुप जोड़ देगा ताकि रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम अपने उस सीक्वेंस को नहीं पहचाने एंड दैट इज हाउ द बैक्टीरियल जिनों में सेव्ड इन शॉर्ट रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम्स वर्क इज टू क्लीव वायरल डी एन ए बट इट कैन ऑल्सो क्लीव इट्स ओन डी एन ए इफ इट फाइंड्स द सेम सीक्वेंस तो उससे बचने के लिए द मॉडिफिकेशन सिस्टम ऑफ द रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम द सेकेंड कॉम्पोनेंट मॉडिफिकेशन सिस्टम हैज एन एंजाइम कॉल्ड मिथाइलेज मिथाइलेज विल एड मिथाइल ग्रुप मिथाइलेशन प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड मिथाइलेशन एड मिथाइल ग्रुप टू द बैक्टीरियल जीनोम सो द रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम फेल्स टू आइडेंटिफाई दैट सीक्वेंस विच इट कट्स यहाँ कुछ नया आ गया तो वो नहीं पहचानेगा सो द बैक्टीरियल जीनोम इज सेव्ड दिस इज अ नेचुरल डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म फाउंड इन अ बैक्टीरिया दैट इज फर्स्ट कॉम्पोनेंट रेस्ट्रिक्ट वायरल जीन दैट इज अ डिफेंस एंड सेकेंड कॉम्पोनेंट मॉडिफाइज इट्स ओन डी एन ए बाई एडिंग मिथाइल ग्रुप सो प्रिवेंट्स क्लीविंग ऑफ इट्स ओन डी एन ए बाई रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम सो दैट इज प्रोटेक्शन दोनों काम कर लेता है रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम ये नेचर साइंटिस्ट लोगों को पता चला एंड दे यूज दिस दे आइसोलेटेड रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम द फर्स्ट आइसोलेटेड रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम फॉर डिकॉमिनेंट टेक्नोलॉजी इज कॉल्ड हिंद टू भले नाम टू है वी विल टॉक अबाउट नोमेन क्लेचर इन द लेटर वीडियोज अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिस्कवरी दे आर नेम्ड बट हिंद टू इज द टाइप टू रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम आइसोलेटेड फर्स्ट एंड वर्कड आउट ऑन रिकॉम्बिनेंट टेक्नोलॉजी तो क्या करना है ये रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम यूज करके एक प्लाज्मिड वेक्टर व्हीकल को काटना है इंसर्ट को काटना है एंड दोनों को एक ही वियाल में एंजाइम लाइगेज के साथ इंक्यूबेट करना है सो वॉट हैपन्स द लाइगेज सील्स द एंड्स जो कट एंड्स हैं वो कट एंड्स भी अलग अलग टाइप के होते हैं वी विल डिस्कस दैट लेटर तो लाइगेज एंजाइम सील्स दो कट्स तो ये एक रिकॉम्बिनेंट डी एन ए बन गया विच इज गोइंग टू बी यूज फॉर फर्दर प्रोडक्ट ऑप्टेनिंग और रिसर्च वर्क आई होप द टॉपिक इज क्लियर लाइगेज रोल इज सीलिंग फास्टफूड आई एस्ट बॉन्ड बिटवीन वैक्टर एंड इंसर्ट सो वील डील विथ मोर थिंग्स लाइक Uh, the, uh, recognition this restriction enzyme belongs to a class of enzyme called nucleases humko nucleases se shuru karna hai here i was just telling you what is restriction enzyme but wo kiske andar aata hai nucleases ke andar aata hai endonucleases ke andar aata hai and around 900 restriction enzyme isolate ho chuke hain 230 strain se in ncert mein it is given like this but aaj ki date pe there are thousands and thousands of restriction enzymes isolated so we will learn all that name and nomen uh, naming of uh, रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम्स टाइप्स ऑफ कट्स दे फॉर्म स्टिकी एंड ब्लॉन्ट एंड ऑल इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग कीप लर्निंग